हेलो एंड वेलकम टू डॉक्टर अणिमा उपाध्याय केमिस्ट्री इन टेक्नोलॉजी लेक्चर वीडियोस अंडर नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नैनो मटेरियल्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न इन डिटेल द इलेक्ट्रिकल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड ऑप्टिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नैनो मटीरियल्स so before i start today's video i would like you to please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it so far and also to share this video among all your friends and colleagues this video i have formatted in the question answer format for your better understanding of the chapter so let's begin with today's video what are the main mechanical properties elastic modulus hardness viscoelasticity and fracture toughness are the major mechanical properties what are the main parameters to measure the mechanical properties in a material the main parameters that should be considered to measure the mechanical properties are load loading rate or strain rate and time of loading load is designated by capital p loading rate by p dot strain rate is denoted by epsilon silly and time of loading by small t what determines mechanical properties the mechanical and physical properties of materials are determined by their chemical composition and their internal structure like grain size or crystal structure mechanical properties may be greatly affected by processing due to the rearrangement of the internal structure besides mechanical properties what are the other properties that change at nano scale at nano scale properties such as melting point fluorescence electrical conductivity magnetic permeability and chemical reactivity also changes as a function of the size of the particle what is elastic modulus the elastic modulus capital e is defined as young's modulus and it is the ratio of stress to strain when deformation is totally elastic where stress is given by the symbol sigma and strain by epsilon it is given by the hooke's law which says that sigma is equal to e epsilon where e is a measure of the bond strength between atoms the greater the modulus the stiffer the material and the smaller the strain it is an intrinsic property of a material what is hardness of a material hardness is a measure of a material's resistance to deformation by surface indentation it can be increased by including interstitial or substitutional hardening where atoms are either added between or substituted in the atomic lattice how elastic modulus and hardness be determined elastic modulus and hardness can be determined by nano indentation what is fracture toughness and what does viscoelasticity mean fracture toughness is the property of a material's resistance to brittle fracture a substance exhibiting both elastic and viscous behavior is called viscoelasticity state with examples 
that mechanical properties of bulk changes at nano scale properties such as strength melting point elasticity and flexibility changes drastically at nano scale levels and here are two examples strengthening these points first at bulk level steel is very strong compared to graphite or carbon but at nano scale the cylinders of carbon that is carbon nanotube shows 100 times more strength than the steel another example is that with decreasing the particle size from 300 nanometers to 10 nanometers the silicon dioxide nanoparticles become drastically harder explain why melting point decreases with decrease in the size of the nanomaterials melting point is the temperature at which molecules present in the material possess just sufficient energy to overcome intermolecular forces that holds and binds them in a solid surface atoms in a solid require less energy for movement as they are surrounded by lesser number of atoms compared to the atoms inside the bulk that requires more energy to move thus at bulk level if the size changes then the percentage change in the number of atoms inside increases whereas at nano scale if the size of the object is changed then the percentage change of number of atoms on the surface is very large and this results in decrease in the melting point with decrease in size what important mechanical properties classify and identify a material at nano scale properties such as brittleness strength plasticity hardness toughness fatigue strength elasticity ductility rigidity melting point and yield stress are important at nano scale which mechanical properties are important for nano materials properties such as hardness elastic modulus bending strength fracture toughness and fatigue strength are important mechanical properties in manufacture of nano structures why nano materials shows excellent mechanical properties nano materials have excellent mechanical properties due to the volume surface and quantum effects of nano particles how the mechanical properties of a material is improved by addition of a nano material addition of nano materials to a common material refines the grain to a great extent forming an intra or an intergranular structure thereby improving the grain boundary and promoting the mechanical properties of materials state some nano materials that have been used in improving the mechanical properties addition of nano silicon dioxide 3% by weight to concrete improves its compressive strength bending strength and splitting tensile strength to a great extent similarly addition of nano oil palm empty fruit string fillers 3% into kinef epoxy composites considerably improves their tensile strength elongation at break and impact strength 
Another example is addition of nano zirconium dioxide to cement in micro WC reduces its wear rate and surface friction coefficient. One more example is there. It is the addition of nano titanium nitride improves fracture toughness, flexural strength and hardness of a cement composite. What important factors of nanomaterials should be considered for improving mechanical properties? The type of nanoparticles, its amount, ratio and nanoparticle size, all these have a great impact on the mechanical properties of nanocomposites. What parameters improves mechanical properties of nanomaterials during manufacturing? The temperature, methodology used, treatment time, nanoparticle dosage and its ratio. All these improves the mechanical properties of nanomaterials to a great extent. Does hardness and elastic modulus in nanomaterials diverge from their equivalent bulk materials? Yes. When materials reach the nano size, their hardness and elastic modulus diverge from their equivalent bulk materials. Why? Studies of hardness and elastic modulus of nanoparticles important. Hardness and elastic modulus of nanoparticles enables the successful design of the particles for specific applications and therefore its studies are important. Which technology helps in studying hardness and elastic modulus of nanoparticles? The Atomic Force Microscopy, abbreviated as AFM, has been used successfully to study the elastic modulus of nanoparticles. Which theory describes the adhesive contact between elastic surfaces. Single asperity theory describes the adhesive contact between elastic surfaces. What observations suggest that mechanical behavior is size dependent? The results obtained on observations of size dependent behaviors can be categorized into three points as under first describes spherical polymer nanoparticles for which no uniform size dependent behaviors of the mechanical properties have been found. The second refers to crystalline metal nanoparticles. These have been found to have dislocations inside the particles that contribute to the differing mechanical behavior as they reach the nano size. Finally, the third observation that the nano wires and nano tubes have been discovered to have elastic moduli that decreases with an increasing radial diameter. Thus, the studies suggest that an increase in the modulus is related to the impact of surface stress oxidation layer and the surface roughness. What forces govern the movement of nanoparticles at nanoscale? The gravitational forces that is the buoyancy, viscous flow forces, surface forces and the forces due to Brownian motion culminate to generate the movement in nanoparticles. Why? Calculations of Movement of nanoparticles at nanoscale complicated. The forces that govern movement at nanoscale may look different depending on the complexity of these forces acting on them along with the medium that is the environment in which they are moving. Therefore, calculations of movement at the nanoscale are complicated. 
which properties are affected by the design of nano devices nano fabrication that is the design of nano devices affects lubrication colloidal stabilization and drug delivery which are dependent on the adhesion and friction of nano particles studies have shown that in nano particles the adhesion forces is a combination of electrostatic force meniscus or capillary force vdw force solvation force and structure force what are vdw forces the vdw are van der waals forces they are weak intermolecular forces that are dependent on the distance between atoms or molecules these forces arise from the interactions between uncharged atoms and molecules how does addition of nano materials influences the mechanical properties of a material nano particles are small their addition can fill the matrix pores this reduces its porosity and increases its relative density thereby improving the mechanical properties of a material where does mechanical properties of materials at nano scale finds applications mechanical properties of nano particles allow for novel applications in many fields such as surface engineering tribology and nano manufacturing or nano fabrication what are cermets cermets are heat resistant materials made up of ceramic and sintered metal what is nano indentation and who invented nano indenters nano indentation is a robust technique for determination of mechanical properties of nano materials dr warren oliver and sir john pethica founders of nano instruments invented nano indenters for nano scale mechanical testing technology and with this we end today's video hope you have understood the mechanical properties of nano materials well if you have any doubts please leave your question in the comment box keep watching for the upcoming properties of nano materials